Hey guys, Mark from Stillen here. Today we're going to be showing you how to install the Stillen diffuser on your Nissan Maxima. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is test fit the diffuser, make sure everything lines up correctly. As you can see, it should just slide right over your bumper. Just check all your clearances, make sure everything's lined up correctly. Make sure everything can fit flush when it's pressed against the bumper. Our next step, we're going to be prepping the paint uh, for the adhesion of the 3M tape. We want to take a look and see where the 3M tape is applied to the diffuser and where that's going to touch the actual bumper. Next up, we're going to clean the bumper in the areas where the 3M tape will be contacting it. For that, we're going to be using our Worth Surface Prep solution. Next, we're going to apply in our 3M adhesion promoter to ensure a good bond with the 3M tape. So, finish your application of the 3M adhesion promoter along everywhere where the 3M tape will be contacting the bumper. If you look closely, there's actually texture along this channel where we're going to be applying the 3M tape, so you don't have to scuff this surface in particular. Normally when we install urethane parts though, we do scuff the paint to ensure better adhesion. So next we're going to prep the backing on the 3M tape for insulation. So what we're going to do, on the longer segments, in the middle here we're going to cut a small slit, we're going to peel a small segment back and tape it down to the diffuser like this with some masking tape. This will make insulation a lot easier. Okay, for the very small segments, we can just simply remove the backing a little bit. Then we get to the next long segment, which will be this stretch, and tape it down to the diffuser like this with some masking tape. Okay, for this next step, it's helpful to have a second set of hands. So, we're simply going to start fitting the diffuser. Now, the exhaust ports will help us line up the diffuser. Now that we have the middle section on, we're simply going to wrap the sides around slowly. Make sure everything's lined up and you're nice and flush with the bumper. Then work your way down all the way to the front side. Now once we're confident everything is lined up, we can remove the tape, pull the tab along, remove the little back that's left. Press to make sure that we're in contact with the bumper on this particular part, that the tape is sitting into the groove. Now that we have the diffuser adhered, all we got to do is add the screws at the end. So the last step following the instructions is you want to place your self-tapping screws. So the directions will show you about where to place the screws. Just want to make sure you line everything up, apply good pressure, and screw the screws in. Well, that's all for today. Thanks so much for watching. And if you have any more questions, feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos from Stellar.